Tell me about some of the lifestyle things you can do that aren't supplements or pharmaceuticals that would reduce your risk of cardiovascular disease. It always starts with circadian biology. So I see every single sunrise to set my supercosmic nucleus and tell the rest of my body clocks what time of day it is. You know, if you don't see the sunrise, it's going to be very hard to stay optimal. You have been following my work for a while. It, it's totally true. Yes. It's, the sunrise and sunset are important signaling things, right? And Very much so. You know, that the light is the zeitgeber, the, the food, the temperature, all those things have an effect. But I always start with circadian biology because it's the one that ultimately makes the most sense, but it's free. You just have to go out and do those things and then block your artificial light at night. You can do it naturally or you can get the biohacker glasses and just, you know, do what you need to do at nighttime. So I always start there. And then we talked a little bit about, you know, grounding, you know, get some free electrons from the earth. It's going to help keep your blood thinner. It's going to help lower inflammation. It's all good stuff. It's fantastic that you're talking about grounding. Uh, the guy who discovered that, Clint Ober, was sitting here in the studio an hour before we're recording this, uh, where we talked about how did we discover earthing? What is the evidence? And he's, Dave, I got 30 studies over 25 years. I'm just a retired electrical engineer from the cable industry. Um, but I've been working on this for a long time because it works. And then Stephen Sinatra, who was a renowned cardiologist who was actually scheduled to speak at the biohacking conference and passed away before he could do it for many years said, you know, if you would just go outside with bare feet or use an earthing pad, that will reduce your cardiovascular risk. And he was seeing all these, these changes, but very few cardiologists talk about this today. Uh, you're, I think, one of a, a small number. Do you have hope that the field is going to say, huh, maybe before I put them on a statin, I should tell them to take their shoes off? I don't know if the conventional guys are going to ever get that message that they're going to do that first. I think it's going to be people like you, me, going on the podcast circuit and reaching the patients directly and like, oh, I heard something interesting. I could do this for myself without having to ask my doctor's permission for this. Um, okay. I always tell people, like, oh, stands are tools, but they're not all magical. You have to get all these other things right. I mean, that's why there's the big mitochondria on my wall. I talk about this with the patients, like you have to get your mitochondria to work well. Otherwise your cardiovascular system is not going to be working optimally. And grounding is just one of those fundamental tenets that's going to help mitochondria function. So you've mentioned earthing, you've mentioned uh, circadian biology, getting sunrise and sunset, dimming the lights at night or wearing the true darks, uh, which is exactly what I've done for 10 years now. What about temperature? Talk to me about temperature exposure and cardiovascular disease. I tend to recommend people, you know, sleep in a dark, cool cave. I know you've said similar things in the past. I personally like, you know, the air temperature to be at least 68 degrees Fahrenheit or lower. You know, I've had one of the chili pads since they originally came out and yep. I like to keep it down to about 60. I generally can't get down to 55 sleeping. I just keep waking up if I do that. Um, and then if people don't have access to those things, then teaching them how to do, you know, cold showers appropriately cold plunges or just cold baths at night so that their body temperature is dropping. You know, if they're into sleep tracking, you know, with Oura rings or whoop bands or whatever, they generally are going to see their sleep scores improving. So using cold is that other zeitgeber to get them into that uh, circadian rhythms being optimized. Yeah.